guys, I'm going to prime my face using the Maybelline Master Prime and then I'm going to follow up with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Truffle 2 Contour. I am doing reverse contouring. I find that it really makes a glam look like this look softer, which I really love. Then I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand to highlight my face. And I'm also going to apply it to my laugh lines to give them a little more coverage. I find that it helps to make them uh, less noticeable as well. Then I'm going to blend everything out with a damp beauty blender and there's no other way to use a beauty blender so make sure it is damp first. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm using the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation in the shade of 425 This Warm. I'm going to dot that all over then I'm going to use a dense brush to blend it out following up with a beauty blender for a flawless finish. Then I'm going to set the highlighted areas of my face using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And then I'm going to contour my nose using that matchstick as well. And I find that contouring after setting the highlighted portions of my face just makes everything super easy. I like doing it this way. I find that it works a lot better for me. So I'm finishing up my contour. I did my brows off camera to cut down on time. I'm also going to provide you guys with a tutorial for that. But I am going to set my contour using a powder blush from MAC in the shade Blunt. It's a cool brown so it really works well for this. Then I'm going to bronze up my face using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural in the shade Dark. And I'm just going to warm up my face, um, you know, in a three, somewhat like a three motion. So forehead, cheeks, and chin as well. Then I'm going to dust away that excess setting powder using a really fluffy brush. I really love this brush. And then I'm going to deepen my nose contour using that blunt shade as well. And then I'm going to blend it out with a, fluff, a small fluffy brush I find. Um, I feel like it makes it a lot easier and you always want to soften and blend out that nose contour so there are no harsh lines. You want to make it look as believable as possible in other words. Now I'm going to begin setting my face using MAC Fix Plus first and then my Derma Blend Setting Spray. Now I'm going to do a winged liner and I'm using the CoverGirl Liquid Liner for this. I didn't zoom in because I really want to provide you guys with an updated, a better winged liner tutorial. But for this, I am using small strokes. I find that small strokes work best when doing your winged liner. It helps to make things as sharp as possible without much cleanup after. So after I create my wing, I'm just going to fill that in. And you definitely want to take your time when doing this. Trust me, it's a lot easier and a lot better. If you do make any mistakes, you can of course clean it up. I like to clean mine up after because I find that it makes it a lot sharper. And like I said, it'll clean up any mistakes that you may have made during the process. So I'm just going to take some of my concealer and just clean up my wing a little bit. After I clean it up with concealer, I'm of course going to blend that out. And then I'm going to begin using my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I really love this mascara because it's super dark, it smells amazing, and it really makes my lashes pop. Now I'm going to apply my Lily Lashes in the style Faux Mink Miami. And my lashes are so crusty guys, do not judge me, but this is probably one of my favorite styles. I feel like it works really well for this kind of everyday look. So I am looking down but also looking straight ahead as well. I always place the lash on the um, center of my eye and then I begin to um, stick or you know really place it on the outer corners as well but place placing it in the center really helps to make applying lashes so much easier trust me. After I apply my lashes I am going to apply some mascara to my lower lash line still using that Total Temptation mascara from Maybelline. Now I'm going to go on with Peaches Blush also from MAC and I'm just going to add a little bit of blush and I really like this because it's a natural flush. Now I am going to cut underneath my contour to really make it stand out using some Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to dust it away right away because I really just want to make it stand out and it really doesn't take long to do that. I am going to begin highlighting my face with the Artist Couture Jackie Ina La Peach Highlighter. This highlighter is so popping guys. I'm also going to deepen the dip right above my lip using a little bit of leftover contour from my nose and then I'm going to go back in highlighting also doing the inner corners of my eyes, my nose and my cupid's bow as well. 
for lips, I am going to apply the Fenty Beauty uh, Gloss Balm. I feel like it's a really natural, since this is like everyday glam, I feel like this really helps to complete the look. It's a balm color, balm gloss, and I really love glossy lips at the moment. So I really hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.